Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword, the liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still... Your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's... worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly, but on my own even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people, the fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danans are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Dan in coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign.
stop this. Please, over. Stop! choice that one assumes the throne of a realm but sovereign is a different matter entirely I have no interest in playing their game are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans is there let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves all I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. <laughs> <laughs> 